Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, Saigon Siahan and David Lapointe. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are given shout outs in my videos. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. So it's kind of like a nested radical, but it's not one of those infinite ones that we've seen before. And the numbers are kind of different. So we have the square root of 17 minus 4 times the square root of 9 plus 4 times the square root of 5. And we're going to write this in the simplest form using radicals. All right. So I'm going to be presenting two methods. The first method is kind of worked out. Uh, I'll skip some details, but I'll still give you some idea. And then uh, for the second method, I'll basically work it out fully. Okay, great. So let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to set this equal to x. Set it, set it equal to x. And then square both sides. My goal is to get rid of all the radicals and find an equation in terms of x. First step, I'm going to square both sides. And then... I would like to put the 17 and x squared together. We still have a radical on the right hand side, so let's square both sides. All right, let's square both sides. Now when we do left hand side becomes 289 minus 34x squared plus x to the fourth power, x to the fourth power. And then the right hand side becomes a product, which is uh, four squared 16 multiplied by nine plus four root five. And then this can be written as 144 plus 64 root five. Obviously we can put more terms together, like put everything on the left hand side, except for the radical. So we can write this as x to the fourth power minus 34x squared. Now we have plus 289 minus, two, uh, minus 144. Notice that 289 is 2 times 144 plus 1. So when you subtract, it's just going to be 144 plus 1. So it's going to be 145. And then that is going to equal 64 root 5. I want to get rid of all the radicals. So let's go ahead and square both sides again. And when we square both sides, I'm going to skip some details here and give you the octic because this is going to be an octic equation. But it's kind of like a bioctic because all the powers are even, as you might guess. But because we have uh, everything is, well, we kind of have like a quartic, which is a biquadratic. So I guess we should say bicubic, no, biquartic for this one, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so this is what we get x to the 8th power minus 68 x to the 6th power plus 1446 x to the 4th power minus 9860 x squared and when you subtract 64 root 5 from 145 squared uh, you're gonna get 545 and this is your octic and good luck solving the octic there's no octic formula obviously you know starting with the quintic we have no general formulas Okay, but this octic should have eight roots, and interestingly, um, those roots are all real. And I'm going to give those roots to you in the radical form using the plus minus signs. I know some uh, some folks don't like the way I write plus minus signs, but that's how I write plus minus signs. Okay, you can call it minus plus if you don't like this. But anyways, I can write it as x equals plus minus the square root of 25 plus minus 4 root 5, which means you can basically generate four roots by switching the signs, or x can be written as plus minus 2 plus minus root 5. Obviously, this gives you eight options, but only one of them is going to be the answer. And obviously, when you look at an expression like this, you'll you probably notice that this expression is going to be um, a real number. If it is a real number, then it's supposed to be positive, right, or non-negative. And uh, some of these solutions are negative, especially the ones with the minus sign, like negative 2 minus root 5. 
uh, that's a negative term, negative square root of something, that's also negative. Doesn't matter what's inside, if you have a negative sign on the outside, that's going to be negative. So a lot of terms will be um, eliminated, and then you can kind of work with what you have. But let's not get into the details, and let's work with the second method. Okay, great. My main focus is on the second method. That's why I just want to show you. Obviously, this is not a method you would follow because this is super painful and it's not really a good method. But I just wanted to show you how you can kind of turn this radical into an octic equation. And also notice that um, you can write the conjugates of x kind of like 17 plus 4 times the square root of 9 plus 4 root 5, and then you can write more and more conjugates and kind of put them together, use Vieta's formula, so on and so forth. So you can get a lot of different things from here, but let's proceed with the second method. So I want to start with square root of 9 plus 4 root 5. Great. So I'm going to simplify that first because that's kind of like our innermost, well, it's not the innermost radical, but it's kind of like the innermost expression that I'd like to work with. And um, I can work with it uh, just by considering the following. Notice that if you have square root of A plus the square root of B, and if you square that, if you square this expression, you're going to get the following. You're going to get A plus B plus 2 times the square root of AB. Obviously, in this case, we're assuming that A and B are not negative, and this number is well defined. Great. If you square root both sides and consider the fact that square root of A plus square root of B is always positive, you get the following. Square root of A plus B plus 2 times the square root of AB, and then you square root that. That should equal square root of A plus square root of B. There's also a minus ver version of it. If there's a minus sign between the B and the 2 root AB, then you're going to get a minus sign in between as long as A is greater than uh, B. If not, then you can switch them around. Same thing. Okay, so now since we established that, um, let's compare this our, to our expression. So I want to simplify this expression and be able to write it as a ra uh, sum of two radicals. So I do need the a plus b to be 9. So this is supposed to be a plus b in my expression. And this is supposed to be 2 root ab. So that implies a plus b is equal to 9 and 2 root AB is equal to 4 root 5. Cancel out the 2's, and from here you get a square root of AB is 2 root 5. If you square both sides, you get AB equals 20. Okay, let's go ahead and write that here. So we squared both sides, and we get a system of equations. This system is very easy to solve because it has integer solutions, and you can easily guess that A is 5, B is 4, or vice versa. But since we don't really care about which one is which, or we can always assume that A is larger, and in this case, A would be 5, uh, that means we can write the square root of 9 plus 4 root 5 as square root of 5 plus square root of 4. But square root of 4 is equal to 2, therefore we can write the square root of 9 plus 4 root 5 as square root of 5 plus 2. And if you square the expression on the right hand side, you're going to get the expression inside the radical on the left hand side. Great. Now let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Uh, in our expression, remember we had uh, 17 minus something, right? So if you go ahead and use that, square root of 17 minus 4 times the square root of 9 plus 4 root 5. Now I know what this expression is, so I can just replace it with root 5 plus 2. And that gives us something interesting. Let's go ahead and work it out. When I distribute, I'm going to get 17 minus 4 root 5 minus 8. 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. So it's going to be square root of 9 minus 4 root 5. Now this should be familiar because remember, we had uh, the square root of 9 plus 4 root 5. So something about radicals is if you're square rooting a radical expression and you get another radical in the conjugate, uh, the square root of the conjugate will be the conjugate of the answer. So in other words, um, if this is true, then this must equal square root of 5 minus 2, provided that uh, this is a positive quantity. And as you know, square root of 5 is greater than 2, so this is good. And 
basically we got the answer, right? That should be the answer. Okay, if you go back to the first method and look at the roots that we found, notice that we got these four roots and we got these four roots. And the only solution that works from here is going to be square root of 5 minus 2, which is uh, one of these solutions, right? So out of the eight roots that we got, because there's a lot of extraneous solutions here that we introduced because we kept squaring both sides, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.